Hello and welcome back to InfraSpace. In our last episode, we worked on doubling the red science and also tweaked a couple of other things. And uh, at the end, we talked about adding in some more arrays for the uh, industrial robots to help compensate for our tight uh, population to job ratio here, our availability here, our un unemployed rate, employment, unemployment ratio, that is. And uh, we talked about where to put those and we talked about putting them in here and it's still probably a good spot but before we do i was uh doing a couple other things while i watched the red science uh proceed or the science proceed which is dependent heavily upon red science and i noticed a few things and i also got a few comments uh the first comment of which is a handful of these roads on this side were going in the opposite direction so even though there's not really much wait why is anything leaving there at all where are you all going is that this? No, those are black trucks. Why are these school teal school trucks leaving there? Well, that could be why. Some idiot didn't do this. Uh, now well today screw up. That one's fine, I think. These ones are fine. I guess I just skipped the school. Okay, well that helps matters some, at least some. Uh, hopefully everything else is good there. Um, so we have those, and uh, I, so I reversed those roads. No big deal. I'm also seeing these alerts here, or these whatever you want to call them, saying that there is no uranium coming in. I have added three uranium miners, and there's still no uranium coming in, or not enough uranium coming in to these areas. I want to make sure, though, that I did this properly, and I did. So we need to add some more uh, uranium mining even still after what I added uh, a bit ago uh, I don't think it's gonna fit there without yeah so I think we're going to come over here but I think I want to do something like well let's actually make sure it won't fit there yeah it doesn't fit there uh, we might be able to do something like this depending or I could just do it like this which might be better see we'll do that we'll see if that's enough i'm also getting uh uranium i was getting uranium alarms on the uranium being used in the red science so i did add a couple of extra miners up here as well uh and then of course this area is still a nightmare and you can see kind of why there's a crap ton of copper crowding in here with the iron as i feared and the sand is also still not coming through cleanly so i have an idea of how to change this and uh you're all going to love this crazy idea, but we're going to make some changes to that. But there was one other thing that I did, or that I noticed, but I can't remember what it was now. So maybe I did take care of it. I don't remember. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So you can see that the, the sand's just having a heck of a time, and it's because of the crisscrossing traffic here. So my crazy idea is this. Let's um, extend out this road one more, one more point, and extend all of these out to match it. I may need to move some of these power lines. By may, it means I'm going to move some of these power lines. This goes over there, and then this one can actually just go over there, too. And this can go here. And then I want to connect these up with a... Some of you may already realize where I'm going with this. Uh, but I want to connect these up with some uh, faster roads here. I um, guess I should have done that one, too. I missed that one up a little. Let's fix this one. I don't know how, actually how many of these need to come this far. Why is that one different? That doesn't make sense to be different. Yeah, this shouldn't be... Why are you different? Fixed it. Must have been off by a half of a unit or something weird. And those will connect up like that. Now, they're going to be used for other things, but uh, more importantly, they're going to be used for sand. 
much, much more importantly, they're going to be used for sand. And then this one also uh, is going to be used for sand. I want to change a little bit here. Uh, let's take this out. I'm going to change this out to just be a two lane. We're actually going to delete the whole thing. And I guess I needed to extend all of these out as well. I wonder if I can get a measurement on this so I can just figure out where they need to go. Although, does that really help me any? Only to make it symmetrical, I guess. 41. I suspect it's this one plus a little bit. No. Why are these longer? Oh, because of the extra thing, so it doesn't matter. Okay, never mind, Wally. The extra recycling made these bigger. Now let's make all of these here longer. These may not be lining up right either. Let's see. Oh, that's correct. I think I can just do this. Oh, those... That's longer than those, even. Dunk on it. Oh, we finished Iridium Propellant Factory. Nice. Oh, and I just remembered what the other thing that I noticed that was improved was. So we will go deal with that as soon as we finish with this one. Ah! There we go. That one doesn't seem right either. Alright. Do this. That one's not right either. I think the problem is just there's like a half unit. Like when I drag the road out, uh, it kind of divides it a little. I think is the problem. And this one's off by a whole unit. I can fix that. There. Okay. Uh, let's go in here and uh, pick fast neutron reactor. I know I'm... I'm kind of purposely leaving that one alone, but that one also takes as much as these two together, almost. So, there's also a good reason for it. Now, these are all frozen. Uh, let's take this out this way, uh, about to there. And then we'll come this way to, let's see, minus one, two, three, four, five-ish. And then we'll go here, one, two, three, four, five-ish. And then we'll go all the way down to here. And the reason I did this one the way that I did it is because I want to take that out and put this here. Go up by... No. Oh. I wish there was a better way to handle that. I wish it would still snap to the grid even though it's raised. Like that. Because we're going to bring the copper in this way. I'm going to take the copper in, like, this or so. Ha <laughs> ha. Good eye, Wally. And then we're going to take out this segment here. Let them all turn around and head in this way. Now, I need to connect this up again. Or, not again, but also yes. And these are going to take a little while to get flushed through. And everything's going to take a little while to get flushed through. I don't know why the iron's doing the loopity loop there. But it is. These are going to flush out. So, the new design has the iron and something else coming in here in addition to, like, the industrial robots and the high-tech tools coming in here. Um... The, uh, the sand is coming on its own dedicated line out, out to the outskirts of each unit here. And uh, that should hopefully make things better. Uh, technically, this could get moved back here someplace. But if I want to do that, I need to do it the right way. And the right way is, of course, the grid way. To there. And even not, even not even to there. It could be even closer. But we'll do that anyway. And that one looks okay because of the turn. Okay, so, and actually it's the same as that one now anyway. 
so now we have this one which is still trying to flush itself out. It'll take a little while to get flushed out and caught up with everything in here. But the copper should now have a little bit easier of a time because it's coming in on this dedicated direction, whereas the iron's coming in on this dedicated direction. And while they are crisscrossing each other to make the lefts and the rights, well, the lefts, I guess, you can see it's already made a massive difference uh, to, this, to this input. So, crazy idea panned out. So now, other crazy idea. I don't... Well, these are complaining because there's an imbalance. I must need some more support uh, content here. Um, but we are overproducing yellow science by a little bit if you add these all up. We are also overproducing the AI control units and the radiation cores, from what I can tell. Because they seem to fill up again awfully fast after we do this. So second crazy idea, or other crazy idea that I came up with, was, was to rearrange this again. Again. And I think I'm going to rotate it. Um, I'm going to put another red science in here. Uh, short story long. Uh, maybe if I do this out of the way a little bit. We put the red science in the middle instead. Something like this. But not exactly. Uh, let's take this out and this out. Put a new... Not that kind. Put a new road in here. Going to this point, I guess. Because the previous one's not... Right either, I don't think. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. This way. Uh, then, then we need to go this way too. To there-ish. Uh, then we can move this over here. Move this over here. And I can put another red science in here. And while this may technically be an overdrawing, I'm okay with it. Um, because we do have a little bit of a surplus of the source materials, or the input materials. So if we do, then it's better to use them since we have all those employees dedicated anyway. And so we may need to also boost the production of neural processors slightly in each of these uh, four districts. And we may need to then improve the production of the things that are feeding into those, which are the uh, microchips and then the green circuits for that, as well as the um, the nanos, which are coming from from here. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's add to each one of these one more. And I know I have the other thing that I plan on doing today, but as you all know, you can easily get distracted in a factory game. So one more of these. Uh, that immediately starts complaining about nanos, which I think we can probably just go ahead and facilitate. Um, I think... Yeah, we need to also do these. Uh, I'm going to delete these roads. And put in a new road. Going to here plus... Four. I think that puts that road into three segments then. Yeah. And these were these segments are basically at max length, so having the extra space here makes some sense. Uh, let's see. Go here and here. And then we probably need to add in some more microchips, but although these are buffering, so maybe we don't. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to do just those changes to these two and to these two, and we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, here. This one, this one, this one, this one. And then we'll reset, oops, reset these. You know, it cost me more concrete. So gotta do it this way. Okay, and we'll see how that works out for everything else. I'm just gonna let them run for a little while. No alarms, so that's kind of good, although it could just be missing them. Um, so let's look at the uh, the build for these industrial robots. And I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot of this uh, off camera, just so that I have the, um, the idea of how I laid it out so that I don't have to recreate, reinvent the wheel for this process. 
Uh, and I think we're just going to do them down here someplace. Um, maybe I'll do them on this side of the road. So maybe we have enough. Actually, we may not have enough. Let me do a quick measurement of the length of this road all the way down to here. 67. Because that's going to be important to make sure that it fits. Not going to fit there. I'm going to go this way with it. 67 would put us... Please let me see. Right about here. So we could put one in here. And we could put one or two in here. Let's just do the two in here. Uh, is this going to work, though? Or is that going to be too close to the wall? The rock? We'll see. And I think these can be this close. I guess I should check. I can also check. No, I have them two apart. So they need to be two apart. Which puts it at 28. Um, this is 12 and 4 more. No, I'm sorry. 12 and 8 more. These are a bit longer, though. 16 and then 8 more. 8 on the short sides. Looks to be consistent. But uh, we need 16 on the long side. I could, I could mirror it if it fits better that way. Let's see here. How much do we have? Yeah, we only get about 12 here, so we have to do 8 on this side and 16 on this side. But then this one comes down here, which is probably too close to that wall to go out 16 more. Is that the 28? Yeah, basically. So if we go 28 plus 16, that's 44. And that puts us into that. So we can only do one here. Long story long. Um... I'm gonna do one here. So let's, um... I guess I need more measurements than I thought I needed. Uh, this is... Just to come off the road, we went nine. And then six. Uh, six again. These are all six? Yes, they are. Look who done it. Six. Six. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, six lengths, and then some space before the miners. After a nine to start the process. Let me take out these. Now let's leave the last segment here. Nine. Not that it needs to be nine, but it needs to be something, so. Six, let's see, six, six lengths, that's three. Four, five, six, and then we can connect that up to however it fits. Uh, let's see, this would be eight on this side here. Because these are all going to be eights. We're going to mirror it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then a twelve times two, and then a 16, 12, 16, 12, and 16. Kind of like a pattern. Now I gotta try and flip this in my head. That's the tough thing to do, because the screenshot software I have doesn't do a flip, because I'm just using the free one. Uh, let's, but this should be, this shouldn't be too bad to do the first one, and then we can mirror the first one to get the second one. Uh, let's see, this one, and then this one goes here. Actually, I should take this out, too, so you don't get random trucks from random places in here. Uh, we need one of these here. And then one of these here. Please, thank you. Back to the green, please. Here. And then that is a steel factory. We also need to look at this iridium propellant that we don't know what it's used for. Hoping that the next unlock will lead us there. This goes here. And then we need carbon here. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, and then I should have done that better. Uh, stay with the carbon. This carbon goes here. Um, these are mirrored. Here and here. Because each one of these pairs of blocks is a is a manufacturing area. Uh, this is here and this is here. Then we need the actual factory. Uh, motors. So, uh, four in this block, three in this block, three in this block, and one, two, three, four in this block, and this is also where the recycler goes. Which doesn't seem to want to fit. I do a spacing weirdness here, or is this just a road weirdness? I think it's just a road weirdness. Good thing I didn't try to wedge all this stuff in. There you go. And that covers almost that entire thing because of the spacing issue. Dang it. That's fine. That's fine. Yep, it is what it is. Okay. So now we just need to duplicate to that. Well, triplicate it, I guess, technically. Uh, let's start with the greens, I guess, here and here. And these two go here and here. You can switch over to the carbon. Get those going. And right now they're able to support the whole thing, assuming that they had power. Uh, this goes here and here. This goes here. Here. Back to green again goes here. Uh, let's go over here to steel. And then factor uh, robots, and then and we may not actually need this one extended. I need to check. Uh, someone made the comment about that at some point along the way, and I'd never actually verified it. So I will do that now as we're putting this all together. Oops, inside pair. This can go here. This can go here. This can go here. And then recycling doesn't fit either. Yeah, there's a there's a spacing issue here. Or it's because they're on the other side, which is probably the more likely reason. Um because the, the driveway is probably not in the center. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to extend this one out and put one in there too. And that covers everything but the one which I'm fine with. I guess I could, maybe that's a better option, actually. What if I made these here? the thing. Maybe they're kind of more centered in the blocks. Then that messes it up even worse. So now we'll put it back. Having one building unsupported or un whatevered is kind of fine. As opposed to three. Okay, now you're lying. Let's uh, bring power in here. I think we'll put the power, like, over here. Well, we need to make sure we get enough room for the miners. Which that should cover. I wonder if I can make it work. Let's see if we can. I know. Relax. Come on down to about here. Connect you up. Hush. So I don't have it connected to any sources. Um, we might be able to make it make it work over here. How many miners did I have? Did I take a screenshot of that? No, I didn't catch the miners in the screenshot. Try this again. Uh, six. And they don't really need to be as far away as they were over there either. Wait, what is there? 
Oh, these bonus materials. Right. I need to put those in. Because that balances out some of the ratios. So let's put those in. Uh, we have a nano uh, here. Or, I'm sorry, that's a neuroprocessor. Three nanos. One, two, and three. And then some carbon. Um, directly across from this one. And then kind of the same space away right there, just for whatever reason. And then we also have a bonus one of these wedged in here too, which I think I'm going to put just down here. All right, so now we can do six sand miners. That's not sand, that's sand. And these, like I said, can be closer than they were before. We can shorten this down like that. And that's fine. Now that'll provide the sand. We need to provide the iron, the copper. Maybe that's it. Uh, let's paint a district in here. I'm just going to go ahead and include the sand miners. We might have not included them on the other build. They might be in their separate district, but we'll put them in the same one. It's fine. There you go. Uh, sand stays here. Iron come, will come in. Well, let's, let's not do it then. Uh, let's put down some iron miners. Probably just a couple, I'm guessing. And let's do the highways here. Let's go this way. And I think like that will be good. Do something like this. Switch to this. Then you all can snap right into there. Like that. These are out of power range, of course. I didn't think about that. But that's fine. We'll just put this in here. from there to there. Uh, copper, I think I'm going to use this one. Because we're not really using much up here besides the copper and the uranium. Speaking of which. These are all full. These are all sitting here idle. And this is the uranium that's providing for that. Which is telling me we don't have any blast thingies. No workers. Oh, I went over my worker budget again. Doggone it, Wally. This pushed me over the worker budget. Hmm. Okay. Done this part already, probably. Actually, I probably could have just done it the correct way the first time. And that one can't be upgraded because this nano is connected to it. Uh, so let's add some copper in over here. of those. Uh, you're fine, but uh, let's add some copper going in here. Within this district stays uh, circuits and I don't know if we need aluminum here or not. Do we? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. We'll bring the aluminum in. Uh, carbon. Nanos. Steel. Motors. Electronics, we already have. Appliances, no microchips, yes. Neuro. No, no. Extra robots, and I think the rest is probably good. So we just need a source of aluminum, which I think we can probably just get from up here as well. Uh, you all are pretty doing pretty good for yourselves right now. Please, thank you. Aluminum, let's come down here. And now we need to try and see if those will save us the 300 workers that just cost us. Or 
how that's going to work out. I wonder if there's any industries that I can lower. So the problem with this is the same as the problem with... Or the problem with, with using this to, to reduce the number of workers. It's the same as the problem I have with reducing... Or with the calculations here. This doesn't tell me how this module's doing. It tells me how the whole city's doing. But if you're focused on routes with the, within the modules or between modules like I am, then this doesn't really help a whole lot. And I think the only thing we could probably cut down on is science for right now to try and let some other workers come into play here. Although, that doesn't look like it saved many workers. At least not many. It didn't actually take the workers out. According to this, I have, we'll say, two sixty three hundred forty workers assigned to blue, green, and yellow sciences. If I push these all the way down to zero, I don't get those workers back here. It stays where it is. Which is interesting. But these did get workers. So maybe that's good enough. Maybe. Even though it says we're over our job allocation. Maybe it's just enough to make a difference. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to make enough of a difference or not, but it did save us. But now we're back up. So it's now it's more like 260 workers or something that it's saving us. But that's just enough to make a difference. Um, until we, of course, run out of blue and green science. But maybe that's enough to make a difference to let this thing get going. Let it get delivering the uh, robots to the other to places that need them to reduce the number of employees needed. And hopefully it reduces the number of employees needed by just that amount. And the numbers are going down now, so maybe it is working. So I think what I will do is I'm going to build a uh, another one of these here. I think it's okay to build here. There's not that much traffic here. And then we will uh, we'll come back in the next episode, and hopefully it'll let the fast neutron reactor finish, and we can work toward the adamantine mining. Um, I don't know how much of this stuff is actually usable here, but we'll take a look at it at least. We can also take a look at that iridium uh, lubricant, whatever it was called, propellant, and see if we can figure out what, what that's for. Um, but there's obviously a few other things we haven't, we don't actually have a use for here either. So uh, we'll take a look at those if we can. We'll figure that out. And hopefully in the next, I don't know, two episodes maybe, uh, we'll be wrapping the series up. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.